Miami Beach is going through what feels like a bit of limbo. It can get uncomfortably busy along the main drag, and not everyone is wearing a mask. Yet restaurant patios are nowhere near capacity. So the people that are here, they're just staying their social distance and keeping, you know, just walking up and down the street. So we're really not making any money. In a state with few COVID restrictions and a high case count, the pandemic is on voters' minds, and it appears to be reinforcing biases here rather than swaying votes. I feel like they've done everything they can without putting us into a depression. This small business owner voted for Trump because of the pre-COVID economy. Many in Miami's Cuban-American community say they too are standing by the president. It makes no difference w uh, which president there is. Um, uh, people are going to die. I mean, there's nothing uh, he can do more or less. I mean, he can help, but people are going to die. He's done his best in trying to handle it. I, I mean, there's not a school or a political, uh, you know, a class that you go to that teaches you how to handle a situation like this. Alan Joseph voted for Democrat Joe Biden in part because he doesn't like how Trump has handled COVID and he's comfortable with the idea of going back into lockdown. Do people act like there's a pandemic going on down here? Oh no, people, I, I, my belief, I think a lot of people, they trying to, everybody trying to get back into, you know, they tired of being isolated with a pandemic. Along with pandemic fatigue, voters here seem to have some election fatigue too. Lucky for them, at least the campaign is nearly over. And Katie joins us from a Trump rally in Miami tonight where I don't think there's much physical distancing going on, Katie. No, take a look at this, Ian. We've got thousands of people who've been waiting in line for their chance to see President Donald Trump. As you mentioned, physical distancing is not mandatory, but that is not a deal breaker for these people who are just excited to see the president in this last stretch of the election campaign. All right, Katie, thank you.